is going on guys welcome to a brand new video welcome back to the channel it's dev we're here welcome back the orville last on um what happened oh yeah they went to this planet that was made pretty much their their form of government is governed by astrology it's a perfect lifestyle unless it's for a specific group of people that were born <clears throat> in a specific group of time. It was first contact, the first time they ever made contact with any other species or anything. So that was that was really exciting. I enjoyed that episode quite a bit. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And the show's been really good. I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, just, oh my god, my there, there's something in my eye been like this like for the past couple of hours hope y'all are doing good hope you guys have a great wednesday um and yeah just stay positive have a good time let's enjoy this reaction i hope you enjoy it uh let's get into the orville season two episode six in three two one dr finn hey Bordis. what can i do for you i would like a mustache uh, i'm sorry Lieutenant Malloy has informed me that I would look pretty good with a mustache. Look pretty good. <laughs> I have noticed your tendency to become cantankerous after 1600 hours when you have not eaten. Well, thank you. I think. Now, this draft is a little... Aw, Isaac. Revision complete. Thanks. I owe you one. One what? Uh, you know, return the favor. It is unlikely you would be able to offer useful insight into any of my research. My intelligence far exceeds your... Uh, right, 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 I... <laughs> Sorry. You have modified the configuration of your hair. The configuration of your hair. Symphony's here next week, right? They are, yeah. Ship arrives on Friday. You going? Yeah, Cassius and I were gonna go. What about you? <laughs> it's great. Mike Henry. Um, Chris Johnson. Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. And now it makes sense. That was your idea? Yeah, he looks good, doesn't he? Rugged, authoritative. Authoritative? It would be appealing. Is that not so? Oh, no, it's it's super appealing. It really is. It's, it's great. I love it. I, I think people are really going to be talking about it. Is that oh, this would have this would have been one of those things, yeah. Commander, <laughs> I have that update on the vaccine shipment to Alamac. That's Three. funny. And delivered. Thanks, Claire. Actually, I came up here to remind. Could <coughs> she say vaccine? Ty possesses considerable musical aptitude for a biological life form. We'll be there. <laughs> Tom, good luck. I will. Hell yeah. Oh, I can definitely tell Seth MacFarlane and directed by Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna have some classical music bits that he definitely. Yep. This little guy, though. You're something special, you know that? Thanks. Oh, excuse me a second. Oh my god. Large social gatherings provide ample opportunity to observe the behavior of biological life. It looks so depressing. The data I have acquired from his behavioral stimuli has been plentiful. Is it possible that's the machine equivalent to saying you like spending time with him too? Interesting. The parallel would require further analysis. <laughs> you have a minute. Sure, what's up? There's something I need to talk about and I'm not sure who else to go to. But you can always come to me. What is it? You feel like a glass of wine? You're probably going to need it for this. It's Isaac. <laughs> Chardonnay, two glasses. <laughs> yep. But the reality is he can't love. Just make sure you don't get hurt. Oh, God, she's going to get hurt. Would you like to go on a date with me? A date? Yes. A social coupling designed to facilitate mating. Wow, it just got really hot in here. Oh my... Not detecting a rise in the temperature. <laughs> Affirmative, Doctor. I will go on a date with you. <laughs> it's so goofy. 
but I like it. I feel happy for Claire, but at the same time, I'm like, I mean, I guess you're in what, uh, I guess. Am I interrupting? Oh, hey, Isaac, no, what's up? I require guidance. How does one prepare for a date? Oh my God. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say a date? Affirmative. Are you serious? Isaac. Dude, Yafit's gonna get pissed. Oh, wow, sweet emotion. I am seeking advice. Well, I mean, what I would normally do is I prefer to hear from Commander Lamar. Damn! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god you guys! guys. Isaac Claire and Isaac, Isaac are going on a date because they're so insane. <laughs> you knew about this? Claire confided in me, but now apparently the whole ship knows. Uh, is this a thing? Like, what did I miss? I mean, they've always been close, right? I saw them hanging out together. You've missed it because you've been directing! <laughs> simple as that. The guy has limitations. I mean, even in the best case scenario, he's still my father, and he'll never be a weightlifter, no matter how much his heart is in it. <laughs> oh my god! Shall we go? That is the next appropriate step. This is so weird! But it's funny, and I like it. It's strip of hair above your lip. The mustache. Why? Because it is foolish looking and people are staring at us. <laughs> this is what being alive is all about. The simulator is quite capable of recreating such an environment. It's not the same. I tried. The smells are never completely accurate. Although I must say I am. Isaac's going to be like, all right, I'll let that. I'll make that work. Your home is Baltimore, Maryland, located in the northwestern hemisphere of Earth. Founded 1729 Earth time, approximately 210 square kilometers. Oh, okay, you got it. You got it. Ooh, my God. You're like Jeff Pellman. A physic. Is there anything you don't know about me? I downloaded all available information prior to our <laughs> excitement of getting to know the other person. My method is more efficient. Uh, yeah, but nothing spontaneous. Okay, listen. Let's flip the tables here. <laughs> uh, let's give it a day or so, huh? I am a little tired. Very well. Good night, Doctor. Good night, Isaac. Even Isaac was the one who asked for the other date. Oh, she's giving him a kiss and the red lipstick. Me projecting my own affection onto him and thinking it was real. So what are you going to do? I've done that, project my own feelings onto somebody and thinking it was real. It's pretty tough. You know what I mean? That shit's that shit's meh. I'm sorry. I think we should just go back to the way things were. Very well. Good night, Doctor. Wait, Claire broke up with you? Affirmative. Oh my god, Isaac, I'm so sorry. You are not to blame, Ensign. You are not to blame. Listen, Isaac, this is my fault. Oh my I god, they're recording. I thought this was going to work. I was lonely and I just reached out in the wrong direction. What are you doing? Initiate simulation. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Amanda Lamar suggested I create a simulation that would allow us to kiss. It's cool actually seeing the actor. His eyes are still open. Was that a kiss? It was. Did I execute it correctly? You did just fine, Isaac. If you wish, you may kiss me again. <laughs> Simulate quarters, Finn, Dr. Claire, Jay. <laughs> I'd like to do more than that. I thought it was gonna feel mathematical, but that was the exquisite part of it. 
He could instantly attune to and harmonize with my every move with such precision. Imagine a human guy. What is the proper method of terminating a coupling? You want to break up with her? Oh no! Ah, you are home. It is about time. Isaac, what are you doing? I am awaiting my dinner. This has caused me to become displeased. You don't eat. And what the hell are you wearing? Is that underwear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna tell me what's going on right now, beginning with an apology for what you just said. I am sorry you are upset. Perhaps you are on your period. Oh, God! Get out. Good day, Doctor. Thank you for your assistance. That's so depressing, but so funny. Oh, I feel horrible. She seemed genuinely happy. Hey, Doc. Oh, God, not here. Yafit, this is a private simulation. I thought you might want some company. No, I'm McDonald! God, oh. What did you do? Just a little makeover. Can I buy you a drink? No. Are you sure? I know I hate being alone when I'm on the rebound. I'm not on the rebound. Ah, rest in peace, man. Your various programs are used to her, and it turns out she's not so easy to just delete. A crude analogy, but essentially accurate. <laughs> you just might be the first artificial life form in history to fall in love. That is not possible. However, the incompatible data must be consolidated in some fashion. I must create a new translative program. Further analysis of human interaction has informed me that a relationship is best served when both parties make a commitment to its longevity. I wish to attempt this. You're saying you're better with me than without me? Ah, uh, I can't help but feel emotion for this. Oh my god. Oh, that's so goofy. I love it, though. <laughs> what a crazy episode, dude. What the hell? Emotional, too. I loved that. I wonder if that's a well-liked episode or a hated episode. I really hope it's a well-liked one because I loved it. You know... Isaac and Claire episode. I think that's just perfect. That was perfect, and I think it's goofy. Obviously, how Claire is falling in love for a artificial life form, but it's also literally Isaac is in love metaphorically and literally because if if she isn't there, his functioning is deteriorating, and that's just that's that's just hilarious. That's really funny. Um, great job by, by Seth MacFarlane for directing this episode. Very well done. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I did. Did enjoy it. Um, Norm MacDonald made, made an appearance. The actor who... I'm pretty sure that's the actor who plays Isaac. Let's find out. All right. Let's find out. Or voices that I mean, probably plays Mark Jackson. That is oh, that's great. Oh, that's fun. That's so cool. Oh, I, I enjoy that. That's that's fun. <sighs> she probably had the best sex of her life, though. That was probably the greatest sex doll that she's the sex doll slash person. She has ever been with sex machine, I should say. She's probably ever been with, and this is probably the greatest thing she's ever experienced. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. She was mentioning how everything just flowed together, and he was pleasuring her and wanted to do that. Like that's just hilarious. That's so funny. That's so funny. Loved how calm this episode felt. Felt. You know what I mean? Just like there was nothing like bad going on that was threatening everything. Like it was just an episode about connection and love. And then you had Bordas's mustache, which was just a good secondary arc, a good B 
you know, part of the episode with with all that. And I thought that was fun. I thought that was really fun. But I just love, you know, it talking about connections with people because connections, they do matter. And obviously losing a specific connection for you, I can relate to it. I mean, we've all lost people, like not like literally, but like just relationships throughout your life. You know, people come and go. It's part of growing up and you got to learn to deal with it. I've dealt with it, you know. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, lately, I've just been kind of doing my own thing. You know, I've had those... As of late, there's only, like, one person in the last... At least last while that I'm like, man, I really like them. But them talking about projecting your feelings on somebody else and making yourself believe that they feel the same way, that's a real thing. I can relate to that, especially in my past. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. It's deranged. You, uh, you gaslight yourself into believing that something can happen, and obviously it does, and you end up hurting yourself. That's one thing I've learned to, learned about my life, and Isaac's kind of in the same boat. I mean, we all learn shit like that. We all learn how to do better or, like, make yourself happier and better, and, you know... Isaac's learning it. Also, Claire is learning through it. She's very smart. Um, but, yeah. I just, I, I love this episode. It was very good, very enjoyable. You know, just just a calm, relaxing episode. Filled with a lot of, it was really funny. A really funny episode. And this season, I mean, it's been funny. But it hasn't been, like, funny. And I think this one was really good. So many good moments. The Bordis Mustache. You know, Isaac at 3 a.m., Isaac fucking making himself look like a total douchebag with the fucking underwear and wife beater I think he had on, saying, oh, you're here, make me dinner. <laughs> like, shit, like, that's so funny. That was so good. And then Ed, when he was, like, talking about uh, Isaac, and then Isaac comes in the room, and he's like, I want my father. <laughs> it was just the way he switched up was so funny. It was so good. Um... But rest in peace, Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. He made a good appearance in this as as Yaffet. That was fun. Both of the both Yaffet and Isaac, their their voice actors pulled up. So that was fun. That was that was really enjoyable. So that that was very cool. I enjoyed that quite a bit, and a uh, very good episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all the social medias down in the description below. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Orville Season 2, Episode 6. We'll catch ya. Uh, for another video.